When I uh, first began to do collages, I had no idea that I was going to develop certain symbols that have run through my work, like the train, the serpent, the guitar. But these were all natural things that I saw in the life around Mecklenburg County in North Carolina. I used the train because so many of the lives of black people had to do with the train. So these are the, are the elements of my environment. That's right. You know, we looked at this was just a jumping off point when we did it out there, you know, the liquor store. You remember I did a drawing out there, uh, Al, of the... Uh, but uh, just something like this was enough to get me started, you know, on what I later did. You know, the funeral parlor right, right there, there was right. a funeral going on at that time. I guess the guy's very busy. And I made it like Ethiopian uh, angels or something up there receiving the lady. Mm -hmm. And then I imagined Let's say there was a family eating, a little boy up there, and I put the big electric light bulb mm -hmm. and the other figures in sitting around eating, and then mm -hmm. just this little note was enough. But looking at those buildings now, Al, look at this. Mm -hmm. See that one, those two red ones? Right. And this one a little longer. Actually, what I'm doing here is making a keyboard. Mm -hmm. Now, we were already defining this as a musical composition. Right. And then you have to look for things that repeat themselves. Did you see these triangular movements? Uh, Did you get these here? And then the first thing you know, you have a sonata. And this is what I have tried to do uh, in my uh, collages, uh, to uh, bring uh, the Afro-American experience into art and give it a universal dimension.